Uh, we wanted, but uh, I think we, we took a step forward in the Auburn game. We took two steps back in the Auburn game, but you know, we can get to learn from it. We can't hang our heads. We still got a lot of confidence play to go to look forward to. So you're sick and tired of answering this. We're sick and tired of getting emails. What does it take to turn the sucker around? Uh, really, I think consistency of buying in. Uh, you know, we show it one game, and then the next game we go back to revert back to doing things we were doing before. So I just think it's been consistent uh, the way we like to play in all the time. So when you guys ask yourself why, what's the answer you guys come up with? I mean, I don't know. I'm not in everyone else's head, but uh, I just think it's about trust with everybody. And that's all about buying in. It's not trusting. Them coaching and not trusting the players, so I think it's all about us trusting each other and you know, not going off on our own eyes and think what we want to do. In terms of execution, what didn't happen in Tuscaloosa that did happen in Auburn? Uh, I just don't think we had that fight like we had in uh, Auburn. We were you know, we were intense. Uh, we were the ones going to pushing around, and I think I would been really all the way around. Jesus, as the losses kind of mount up, is there a growing sense of urgency on this team? I mean, do you start to Say, you know, we got to get it together just to get in the NCAA tournament. You know, I think uh, yesterday's practice, uh, I think a lot of energy was shown. Uh, I think it was one of the hardest practices we had since I've been here. Well, it was intense as, we, as hard as we win and showed a lot of enthusiasm. So, I mean, that was a good sign. But you know, I hope you know, guys are realizing that it has to be turned around and we don't have much time to, to keep saying the same things. Cal was saying guys have to eventually, individually, guys are going to have to get sick of losing. You said yesterday was really intense. Did you sense that some individuals have kind of like finally kind of gotten fed up with losing? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, it was a lot more. It was the most talk I've heard in practice since I've been here. Uh, guys are getting after each other, uh, and I do think everyone's tired of the same thing. Uh, you know, we're tired of you know coach taking the blame when it's really not his fault. You know, he's doing what he's supposed to do. It's about us not doing what we're supposed to do. Mentioned that NCAA talked to you all here, even though you saw this. Uh, I haven't heard much, but, you know, it's a thought in the back of your head, you know. Uh, I don't think we really won a, a, a marquee game in uh, every big game that we had. Uh, we kind of choked it off. So, you know, it's, I mean, as an older guy, it's in the back of my head, and I'm sure the young guys think the same thing. You worried? No, nah, I'm not worried. Uh, it's still a lot of season left. We still got a lot of big games, uh, and I still believe in my team, my teammates, and I think that it can be turned around. How surprised are you, Julius? It's the middle of January, and then we're having this conversation about the NCAA. Usually it's not a concern. It's good. You know what's going to happen with Kentucky. Uh, I mean, you, I don't know. You, you never know. You know, you can't predict how the season is going to go at the beginning of the year. Uh, you just got to take it in stride and, you know, Come, when those things come about, then that's when you approach them. But you know, you never know how the season's going to go until it's actually happening. It's happening now. It's, you know, it's not how we would want it to be, but it's happening. I know people look at you as the older guy and all, but this situation's kind of new to you too. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I've never been the oldest guy, and <laughs> I've never played with a group of young guys uh, with such high expectancy. Uh, you know, usually young guys, when, when they're not getting it, you can just say, oh, next year. But here, you know, you expect to learn at a rapid pace. And so it is a lot for them. But, you know, I think now, by now they realize that. And, you know, it's just got the time to turn around.